Welcome to the 13th annual Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic. Another gorgeous day in paradise. Waikiki beats. There is Diamond Head, the backdrop. Game three of our quarterfinal day at the Stan Sheriff Center in Honolulu. The Kamani Winsu, the freshman from France, starting for the third straight game. The Kyle Smith shaking things up for the Cougars, who've been off to a little bit of an uneven start. Late shot clock situation, a step back from Muhammad Gay. Okay, can make that shot. You don't, we know about his efficiency around the rim, his ability to protect the rim as well. Back clock at 10. Muhammad Gay from the outside. DJ Rodman on the offensive glass. Shovels to TJ Bamba. Falls off. Gay the tip and it goes for Wazoo. Well, nobody rotated down to put a body on Gay. And you can see the long arms, the ability to rebound out of his area. And corner three from TJ Bamba to give the Cougs their first lead. Here's Bamba, inside off balance, and the loose ball recovered by Washington State. Open in the corner, Tiger set the feet, and back-to-back -back threes at this end for T.J. Bamba. Andre Yakimovsky, the junior from North Macedonia, making his season debut here at the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic. Lob underneath, and the finish, and one, Mohamed Gay. <laughs> Good start for Washington State. Well, both teams kind of pounded inside, and both, both teams' bigs are doing a great job of finishing at the rim. And the roll to keep it high, and the finish with a flourish. Jay Mullins, the quick trigger, rims off a three. Muhammad Gay attacks the basket. Nice drop off again inside Muhammad Gay. Right now, the problem George Washington has is they're not containing from the outside. They're not pushing the ball towards the sideline. They're allowing dribble penetration right into the middle of the floor. T.J. Bamba wondering how come I didn't get a call. And Don Daly says, Melikaliki Maka. And T.J. Bamba lays it in. Jay Mullins rattles in a three. He's shooting his threes, Tim, at 53%. To the basket. And the first points for Justin Powell. Well, there's good offensive teaching. DJ Rodman, nice pass underneath. A double clutch. And the lay-in for Carlos Rosario, the native of the Dominican Republic. Open in the corner. Time to set the feet wide open in a three. And that was stroked by Kamani Winsu, the freshman from France, his first points of the game. TJ Baba elevates for the rebound for Washington State. There is Jake Mullins. Corner three. Stroke from Justin Powell. And the pull up. Tough shot. It goes for Jake Mullins. Good to see Muhammad Gay walk back to the Washington State bench after getting looked at as T.J. Bamba across the lane. Oh, the twist and turn, Roxy. Not much room to roam in there, but found that little sliver of open air at the rim. Knocked away by T.J. Bamba. The Cougars on the run, three on two. The lob to Muhammad Gay and the finish. Great job by Jay Collins. So had one thing in mind. He found his, found his man, found, got into the gap with his head up. One thing in mind, find the open man at the rim, found game. But they don't have a true point guard, and that's been an ongoing issue for Washington State as Andre Yakimovsky runs the floor. One time they were just flying up the floor. As Yakimovsky has a free block, but cleaned up by Muhammad Gay. DJ Rodman, and a huge three for Washington State, and Rodman's first points of the night. That was a great job by Washington State just to be patient. He's trapped and just does get rid of it, avoiding a five-second call, but a steal. DJ Rodman ahead to TJ Bamba. And it rolls in, and one, TJ Bamba for Washington State.
I'm not sure how Bamba got that ball up on the glass and over the defense, but he did, and he got punk to the ground and still made the shot. He's found a way, but here comes Lindo with an unnecessary foul. And that's four on Lindo. The ball was released, and he continued to extend. That's trouble. DJ Bamba. Inside to Muhammad Gay, and Hunter Dean had to back off. Well, that's a good coaching move by Kyle Smith. Go at him to see what kind of resistance he will present. Justin Powell. DJ Rodman drives. Rodman on the baseline. Rattles, and for the weak side, wins who kept it alive, then Gay to tip it. George Washington wanted basket interference. They won't get the call. We have a tie game, and the Cougars pull down the rebound. They do have a timeout if they want it. T.J. Bamba with 10. Bamba dribbles it off his foot. Loose ball picked up by the Cougars. Open. Jake Mullins, three! Timeout Washington State. Frenetic sequence leads to an open three, and Jabe Mullins, a 53% three-point shooter, takes advantage of being left open. Well, one thing you don't like to see, there's two things when you're playing defense is a block shot, an offensive rebound, or a loose ball on the floor because your defense gets all discombobulated, and that's what happened. This is the offense by accident. Bamba dribbles it off his foot. GW scrambles just a little late, and Mullins, like playing in his backyard. Second three of the game for Jabe Mullins. And Bamba crosses over, dribbles it off his instep, and this was the result. And here we go. Bishop for the win. Offline, and Washington State now has won the game. A valiant effort by George Washington to get to this point. But Washington State made all the smart plays down the stretch. They hung in there despite the tough defense from GW. Boy, a wild finish where GW gives up a three to Jabe Mullins in the final seconds. That gave Washington State the lead. They held on in the win. They advanced. They'll play the winner of Pepperdine and Hawaii tomorrow night.